T. Corinne November 3, 1943 August 27, 2006 was a photographer, author, and editor notable for the portrayal of sexuality in her artwork. According to Completely Queer the Gay and Lesbian Encyclopedia, Corinne is one of the most visible and accessible lesbian artists in the world. Early Life and Education Corinne was born and grew up in Florida. Her mother introduced her to principles and techniques for making visual art. According to Corinne, I have seldom succeeded in keeping a diary, but I have almost always carried a drawing pad, and since my eighth year, I have also had a camera. Corinne spent her first year of college 1962-3 studying art at Newcomb College in New Orleans, Louisiana, where she studied painting with Ida Kohlmeyer. She then transferred back to Florida, where she earned a BA in printmaking and painting with minors in English and history from University of South Florida. Corinne went on to get an MFA in drawing and sculpture at Pratt Institute in 1968. After a few years of teaching and backpacking in Europe, she became attracted to the back to the land movement and communal living. She was also, in her words, sliding into suicidal depression. Something didn't feel right. Nowadays they talk about overachieving adult children of alcoholics and the problems they have with depressions. Around the age of 30 I realized that art could no longer solve my problems. I found therapy, separated from my husband, became involved with women and joined the women's movement. I felt better. Career Corinne began exhibiting and publishing art and writing in the mid-1960s. Her first notable work was in 1975, and is still in print today. Age 27, she realized that although her art education had enabled her to depict male genitals, she had not observed her own since she was a child. I knew that the things we don't have names for, or images of, are the ones we label crazy or bad. I believed that reclaiming labial imagery was a route to claiming personal power for women. She decided to produce artistic images of vulvas, and self-published the cunt coloring book, reclaiming the word cunt, it was later issued by a publisher as labia flowers. She was a co-facilitator of the feminist photography Ovulars 1979-1981CF seminar and a co-founder of The Bladen Image, a magazine of feminist photography 1981-1983. She was the author of one novel, three collections of short stories, four books of poetry and numerous artists' books and small edition publications. Family, her show of mixed media drawings about growing up in an alcoholic family, has been the subject of a video interview by Jane Scott Productions. Portfolios of her art have been published in Lesbian Subjects, Feminist Studies, Gallery Women's Art, The Advocate, Philadelphia Gay News, The Lesbian Insider, I Am My Lover First Edition, 1979 and Familia. In 1980, she was one of the ten invited artists whose work was exhibited in the Great American Lesbian Art Show. In the early 1980s, T. Corinne developed strong personal and artistic connections to Oregon after she moved to Southern Oregon and lived and became active in the many women's communities springing up in the area. As she notes in one of her manuscripts, slowly, in Oregon, I reconnected with the deep levels of creativity that run in me and began producing work which pleased me. She became adept at representing lesbian sexuality in ways that would elude the male gaze. In 1982, she produced a series of photographs called Yantras of Woman Love. Concerned with protecting the privacy of her models, she used techniques involving multiple prints, solarization, images printed in negative, and multiple exposures. T consistently and conscientiously included women of color, large women, older women, and women with disabilities as her subjects. Sometimes printers would refuse to print her works and art galleries would refuse to show it. Corinne wrote about art for a variety of publications and, from 1987, was the art books columnist for feminist bookstore news. A co-founder and past co-chair of the Gay Lesbian Caucus and Affiliated Society of the College Art Association, she also co-founded the Women's Caucus for Art Lesbian Bisexual Caucus. In 1989, Corinne received a Landa Literary Award in the Lesbian Anthology category for her editing of Intricate Passions published by Band Books. In 1991, she was chosen by Landa Book Report as one of the 50 most influential lesbians and gay men of the decade and in 1997 she received the Women's Caucus for Art President's Award for Service to Women in the Arts. Perhaps her best-known work is the cover of the 1993 self-titled debut album of the English alternative rock band Suede. In 1998, her photographs appeared on the cover and sleeve of the Timmy Cat Records release, Milkshake ACD to benefit the Harvey Milk Institute. Personal Life In 1966, Corinne married the man she described as her best friend. 
She came out in 1975 at which time she was in a relationship with Honey Lee Cottrell. Over the years, Corinne embarked upon relationships with Caroline Overman early 1980s, Lee Lynch mid-1980s and Beverly Ann Brown 1989-2005. In 2003, Brown was diagnosed with cancer, which led to Curran's series Cancer in Our Lives 2003-5. Death and Legacy Curran died on the August 27, 2006 in Southern Oregon after a struggle with liver cancer. She was 62 years old. Her manuscript collection was donated to the University of Oregon Libraries and is now housed in the Library Special Collections Unit. The collection includes correspondence, literary manuscripts, artwork, photographs, artifacts, and other documents that reflect Curran's life and work. Moonforce Media created the T.A. Curran Prize for Lesbian Media Artists in 2006 to annually honor Curran as an artist with bold vision and a fierce dedication to encouraging and preserving lesbian art. The award is an unrestricted grant of up to 1,000 annually. The prize is dedicated to artists working in photography, film, video, digital media, new media, or any fusions of these forms and in any genre including documentary, narrative, experimental, or any other styles or combination of genres. The award furthers Corinne's wish that individual lesbian artists be financially supported to work independently and without censorship. In 2014, Corinne was included prominently in a 45-year retrospective on LGBT photography on the website of news station KQED. In 2015 the Golden Crown Literary Society awarded the first T. Corinne Outstanding Cover Design Award to Anne McMahon for her work on the book Everything. In 2016, Lesbian News published a laudatory editorial retrospective on Corinne's life. Bibliography Books Bodies A Collage, In Woman in Power Issue 18 70 to 72. Courting Pleasure. Austin, Texas Band Books, 1994. The Cunt Coloring Book. San Francisco Pearl Child, 1975. San Francisco Last Cast, 1988. Also published as Labia Flowers. Tallahassee, Florida, A. Ad Press, 1981. Drawing is a Problem Solving Activity, 2002. Dreams of the Woman Who Loved Sex Austin, Texas Band Books, 1987 Family About Growing Up in an Alcoholic Family North Vancouver, B.C. Gallery, 1990 Lesbian Muse The Women Behind the Words Portland, Oregon Chance Publications, 1989 The Little Houses on Women's Land, 2002 Lovers Love and Sex Stories Austin, Texas Band Books, 1989 the Sex Lives of Daffodils Growing Up as an Artist Who Also Writes. Wolf Creek, Oregon Pearl Child 1994-1997. The Sparkling Lavender Dust of Lust, a novel Austin, Texas Band Books, 1991. 22 Years, 1970-1992. Wolf Creek, Oregon Pearl Child, 1992. Wild Lesbian Roses Essays on Art, Rural Living, and Creativity, 1986-1995. Wolf Creek, Oregon, Pearl Child, 1997. Women Who Loved Women. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Giovanni's Room, 1984. Yantras of Woman Love. Tallahassee, Florida, A. Ad Press, 1982. Chapbooks. At 6, 1990. Joy Unfolds, 1984. Visiting the Yarrow, 1993. Editor. The Body of Love. Austin, Texas Band Books, 1993. Intricate Passions A Collection of Erotic Short Fiction. Austin, Texas Band Books, 1989. Lesbian Muse The Women Behind the Words Date Book. Austin, Texas Band Books, 1990. Lesbian Photography on the U.S. West Coast, 1972 1997 1998. The Poetry of Sex Lesbians Write the Erotic. Austin, Texas Band Books, 1992. Writing Desire An Anthology of Erotic Writing. Austin, Texas Band Books, 1991.